Your question is the sum of the two numbers is 26 and the product of two numbers is 153. What are the two numbers A and B is if instead of product is 150 and the sum is still 26. What would be the two numbers now? So first what they have told you just we will write that the sum of the two numbers. So suppose first number we will take it as x and second number is your y. What he has told sum that means x plus y is equal to 26 and what he has told the product of the two numbers is 153 that means x y is equal to 153 now what we have to do just we will substitute any one x or y in second equation so by first equation if we take x is equal to what 26 minus y. Now substitute this value in this equation, second equation. We will get 26 minus y into y is equal to 153. Now multiply it, we will get 26y minus y square is equal to 153. Now bring everything to one side. We will get y square minus 26y plus 153 that gives you 0. Now 153 we will take out the factors of 153. What is that? 1, 5 and 3. So we can see it's going in 3. So that is your 51. Next again 3. It will go 17. But we have to make a 26 here. How it will be? We can see 17 and 9 is 26. By going a middle term splitting, what we will get? We will get y square minus 17y minus 9y plus 153 that gives you 0. Now in this two y is common we will write that y minus 17 and here 9 is common. Minus 9 again you will get y minus 17 that gives you 0. Now the factors are y minus 17 and y minus 9 that gives you 0. Now what the value of y? y is equal to we can say it's a 17 or y is equal to 9. These are the values for y. Now we will take out the value for x. 26 minus y x is equal to we can say 26 minus 17 that is equal to 9 and if you take y is equal to 9 again you will get 26 minus 9 is equal to 17 so now the two numbers are 9 and 17 hmm? these are your two numbers two numbers are 9 and 17. Now we will go for a second question. What he has told if instead of product is 150, instead of 153, now the product is 150. The sum is still the same. That means now this value we will substitute where here. That is your xy is equal to now it is 150. Substitute. What we will get? 
ट्वेंटी सिक्स माइनस वाई इंटू वाई इज इक्वल टू वन फिफ्टी मल्टीप्लाई ट्वेंटी सिक्स वाई माइनस वाई स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू वन फिफ्टी नाउ ब्रिंग टू वन साइड वी विल गेट वाई स्क्वायर माइनस ट्वेंटी सिक्स वाई प्लस वन फिफ्टी दैट दिस इज नाउ नाउ If we go for a middle term splitting, what will happen? See this, one fifty. We will take out the factors of one fifty. One fifty factors are five, thirty, three, ten, two, and five. If you go for a combination, what it will get? Twenty five plus six is thirty one. Or Fifteen plus ten is twenty-five, likewise. But you will not get twenty-six. So now we will go for a quadratic formula. Quadratic formula is what that we will write here. X is equal to minus b plus minus root under b square minus four ac by two a. This is your quadratic formula. Now we will check it. So now what we will get? Y is equal to what? Minus b. That means minus of minus twenty six is twenty six. Plus minus root under what is that? Twenty six square is what? So just we will go for that twenty six into twenty six. Thirty six three carry one fifty six twelve and five six hundred seventy six. So that we will write six hundred seventy six minus four into one fifty is what six hundred. Directly we can write six hundred by two into one is two a. Now if you go there. What we will get? We will get twenty six plus minus now six seventy six minus six hundred is seventy six only. Now we will find out the factors of seventy six. So it will go under four. That means one times and thirty six nineteen. So now you will get two root nineteen by two. Now divide. This three at a time. Why means it contains plus and minus. That means we have to divide this, this, and this. All are even. That means you will get thirteen plus minus root nineteen. This is your y. Now we will find out x. What is your x now? So we will find out x. X is equal to what? Twenty six minus y. That means twenty six minus. If you take plus, so we will get thirteen plus root nineteen. Again, you will get thirteen plus root nineteen. Now, if you take in minus, what will happen? That we will take. So next is your twenty six. Minus thirteen minus root nineteen. That is equal to again thirteen minus root nineteen. So these are your two numbers in this equation.